Ready for this? When engineers become the front line. So picture this for a moment. We're watching a scene where the first people stepping into danger aren't soldiers with rifles. They're engineers holding blueprints, scanners, and gear that looks almost too ordinary for a battlefield. And that's the twist we dive into today. Because when engineers become the front line, everything about modern conflict changes right from the very first look. We aren't just seeing war, we're seeing strategy powered by precision, numbers, and machines that were once meant for only peaceful construction. The new first responders. As we move deeper, we start to realize something surprising. Engineers aren't standing behind lines anymore. They're often the first ones crossing them. They're the ones building temporary bridges under pressure, restoring power before the sun rises, and clearing dangerous routes while everyone else waits. And even though they don't carry the title of combat troops, the danger they face is very real. One stat shows that in some modern operations, engineering teams are among the top three units exposed during the first phase of conflict simply because everything depends on their speed. When tools become shields. What makes this shift even more dramatic is how technology turns into their form of protection. Drones mapping the ground, robots removing hidden threats, and rapid build fortifications that go up in minutes. These are the new shields engineers rely on. And watching all this unfold, we understand why their role is no longer secondary. It's frontline work disguised as technical work, where every action shapes the outcome long before the fighting even reaches full force. So when engineers step forward first, it's not just bravery, it's the backbone of survival. That's why this story matters, and why the first look at these frontline engineers hits harder than we expect. 